Lord Malak, the Star Forge is operating at 200% capacity, far beyond our expectations. I am more interested in the young Jedi Bastila and her battle meditation. Have you learned how she escaped the destruction of Taris? She was aided by Karth Onasi, a decorated war hero of the Republic and a legendary soldier. During the Mandalore Wars, he was honored many times for his bravery. You know this man? Yes, Lord Malak. He served under me when I still followed the Republic. You could say I was his mentor. Interesting. How did you acquire this information, Admiral? An eyewitness, Lord Malak. Kalo Nord, a bounty hunter, was there when Bastila and Karth escaped the planet. Apparently, they left him for dead. A Jedi and a war hero. It's a wonder you survived the encounter. I am hard to kill, Lord Malak. Kahlo has agreed to help us capture the young Bastila for a very hefty fee, of course. But I assure you, he is well worth the price. His reputation as a bounty hunter is well earned. Her companions are nothing to me, Kahlo. But I desire the young Jedi taken alive, if at all possible. Lord Malak, forgive me, there is something else. May we have a private audience away from the ears of the common soldiers? I trust you are not wasting my time, Admiral Karath. I promise you will be very interested in what Kahlo has to tell you about Bastila's other companions, Lord Malak. Force has given us a, a vision, like the one we shared on Dantuin. Did you see it? Of course. You must have. The Force is strong with us both. Tatooine is known for little but blowing sand. I find it surprising that there would be a star map somewhere in its desolate wastes. Perhaps, though that would have been tens of thousands of years in the past. Now there's nothing but the howling emptiness of the Dune Sea. The star map would likely have to be within some kind of shelter to protect it against dust and sandstorms. I suspect there are many such caves and caverns hidden in the sands of the Dune Sea. The creatures of this world probably use them as their lairs. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. How can I help? I do. I've been watching you, studying you closely to see what kind of progress you've made since your training at the hands of Master Zar. I've seen how you've resisted many temptations and continue to walk the path of the light side. Very commendable, but I'm afraid you might stray from this path. You need to see what the dark side represents in its entirety, for it is what we battle. Only the wisdom of a Jedi Master can truly explain this, but I will do my best to make you understand. 
The dark side is not simply giving in to anger, a temptation, or to use the force to destructive ends. These things only lead to the dark side. The dark side grows stronger and more insidious the closer you draw to it. It begs you to surrender to it, to release all its terrible power, and it becomes harder and harder to resist. And once you stop resisting, it's too late. It twists you up inside and turns you into a mockery of everything you once stood for. I am no less resistant to temptation than any other. I simply have the benefit of training that you do not. But even the training of the Jedi might not be enough to save us. We need only to look at the atrocities which have been committed by those under its sway to understand the terrible, corrupting evil of the dark side. Millions dead, and far more suffering. What sort of person would you have to become to perform such deeds gladly? And that is why the dark side is so insidious. If you are not careful, you do not even see each small step you take towards it until it's too late. It's so easy to think that we would never fall prey to such a horror, that we have unlimited control, vigilance, and foresight. If only that were true. The Sith have become powerful because there are many Jedi who've succumbed to the lure of the dark side and joined their cause. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause, to use their own knowledge against them? We are weakened while they are strengthened, so we must harden our hearts and do whatever is required to fight against the dark side, even when the battle becomes wearying. I don't know. The vision of our future is clouded by shadows cast from the dark side. But I sense something ominous lurking in those shadows. But words alone cannot save one from the dark side. Come, we should continue with the task at hand. When the time comes, I only hope we are all strong enough to do what we must. How can I help? Why? I could not accomplish this on my own. I need the aid of others, especially one who is strong in the Force. The bond between us made you a natural choice. Besides, the events on Taurus proved that the Force wanted to bring us together for this mission. And there is little left to chance when the Force is involved. Is that not enough for you? I said we were brought together for our mission, to stop Malak. I hardly think the Force would be pushing us toward a romantic involvement when the fate of the galaxy is at stake. Please try to stay focused. I doubt the Council would approve if they knew we were busy discussing our mutual attraction when we should be saving the galaxy from Malak. Mutual attraction? I never said... It's just an expression. Whatever our feelings... I mean, whatever your feelings, you have to try to ignore them. Don't let this complicate things. Finding the missing pieces of the star maps is our only hope of locating the Star Forge and defeating Malak. The Council explained all this quite clearly. I admit, there were times that I wondered if this is more than just a mission to stop Malak. There were times when I wondered if this was also a way for the Council to test my own abilities. I wondered if the Council wanted to see how I would help and guide you on our quest. I wondered if they were testing me to see if I was ready to become a Jedi Master myself. And then I realized how foolish such thoughts were. As the Council explained, sending a Master in our group would only have drawn unwanted attention from the Sith. The fate of the galaxy is at stake. The Council would not risk it merely to test me. They calculated the risks, and in the end chose the only option available. You must learn to trust in the wisdom of the Council. Your destiny will come when it's appointed time. You mustn't be so impatient. Come on, come. Let's move on. There's much to be done. How can I help? Then I suggest we move on. Yes, what's on your mind? Tatooine's just a desert planet. I hear the mining isn't going so well. I bet the colony gets abandoned before long. Well, that's all I can think of, at any rate. You got it.
How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? What is it you... Of course. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Selima wanga kun bikin. Mucha shaka panga. Mucha shaka panga. Mucha shaka panga. Mucha shaka panga. Tonki ba non tontek. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Selima wanga kun bikin. Tongki ba non tontek. Tong abuk shami no nok. Mucha shaka panga. Tong abuk shami no nok. Tong abuk shami no nok. Tong abuk shami no nok. Tong ki ba non tontek. Selima wanga kun bikin. Tong ki ba non tontek.